this labeling manually. You can use some expert to do the labeling manually, but again, you are then doing the same thing in a roundabout way. You are generating that label data by yourself, right? So that case, again, you can go for supervised learning, but you have to generate the training data or the label data set yourself, okay? Now, when you are going for a different problem where you are trying to get a pattern out of the data, you're trying to get some segments of the customer, for example. Obviously, it's not a prediction. You're not trying to predict anything. So you are going for descriptive learning, which is unsupervised in nature. So obviously, you have to select an algorithm which is for descriptive learning like the Kenning's algorithm. Or there are many other algorithms. On the fifth day, you are going to go through some of them. DBSCAN is another uh, very popular algorithm. So you can pick any of those algorithms. Okay, now uh, there is another million dollar question. Which algorithm should I select for which particular data? The answer is there is no golden rule for that. You have to learn it, you have to figure that out from your own experience, from that domain, you need to understand in that particular domain, what is the model which generally yields the best results? So there is no golden answer to which particular model will give me the best result for this particular classification problem. Okay, I hope I have answered the question. Sir, uh, from the procedure explained for k it appears that it takes a long time, is it? Yes, obviously. It definitely has some cost because you are repeating the iterations, right? So it will have its own cost. How can we increase the performance of regression model? Uh, the best way to improve the performance is by dimensionality reduction. We can reduce the number of uh, uh, dimensions or the number of predictors being used and we can restrict to the predictors which are absolutely critical to that regression problem, or even for that matter, for that classification problem. Right, so uh, obviously uh, one very, very uh, important and popular tactic is by using that uh, feature selection or dimensionality reduction. Uh, otherwise, the only other way is by scaling up the hardware using uh, uh, GPU setup or whatever. I mean, that way you can do it. What should be the minimum size of the data set? Um, again, there is no golden rule for that. Uh, but generally, what we say is the data set should be such that it should basically contain instances representing all the variable situations. Or the uh, data set should, have, uh, should represent the variability all sorts of variability possible. Okay, uh, so answer is again, there is no golden rule, but obviously uh, uh, better is the variability represented part of the data. It is better for the model training. And obviously if you feed with more number of instances, it is going to be definitely good. But again, if you keep on feeding with instances belonging to one particular class and in the process, you create something which is called a class imbalance, right? You have instances of one class, maybe say 500 instances, and instances, uh, maybe 30 or 40 instances of another class, that's something which is called a class imbalance problem. So that also you need to look at. So all the instances belonging to the different classes, they need to be kind of balanced, okay? What are the parameters we have to adjust in order to increase the performance of model? There are different parameters, actually. I mean, uh, we cannot uh, talk of one single parameter. Say, for example, uh, there is one particular algorithm called k nearest neighbor algorithm in, uh, in classification, right? So there, k is a parameter. Okay, so uh, k means how many neighbors are, are we going to look at, right? So that is a parameter. So like this, there can be different other parameters. Depending on the algorithm, the parameters might be different. What is the meaning of non-linear data? Sorry, what's the question? What is the meaning of non-linear data? 
what is the meaning of non-linear data? Okay, uh, the best way to explain it is uh, like the diagram that I showed. If say, for example, the data is a two-dimensional data, okay, and you are able to uh, I mean, represent the data in a two-dimensional Euclidean space, okay. If the data is such that the instances belonging to the different classes can be uh, segregated by a straight line, then we call it as a linear data. And if the instances belonging to the different classes cannot be segregated using a straight line, then it is a non-linear data. This is uh, uh, how we can define in a two-dimensional perspective using a straight line. When we go to three-dimensional perspective, we can express the same thing using a plane. So if the data can be segregated by a plane, then we call it a linear data or the data belonging to the different classes. Okay, when we go to more dimensions, we have to go for hyperplanes, right? So that's how we define uh, linear and non-linear data. Difference between stacking and blending, sir. Uh, difference between static and stack stacking stacking and blending i am not able to uh, understand oh. static and blending yes sir i really haven't uh, come across that term okay sir next question sir what is the difference between ensemble and hybrid technique ensemble and hybrid technique, technique. yes sir uh, can you give an example of a hybrid technique that you are referring to? So ensemble is when you are combining the different uh, uh, models or different uh, algorithms together to come up with a, a combined outcome or a, or a combined model. Okay, that is ensemble. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what is uh, uh, referred to as a hybrid. Uh, maybe... When you say hybrid, probably what you refer to is some kind of a natural algorithm being used in a tandem with some machine learning model. I'm not sure what exactly you are uh, uh, exactly referring to, but ensembling just be clear when we uh, kind of uh, have different models combined together. That's ensembling. Yes, sir. Questions over, sir. Okay. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, enlightening our participants with the uh, different models of uh, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning and uh, measuring performance analysis of uh, models and uh, uh, explaining the uh, from basics to the level. Uh, everybody, I, I hope every participant understood uh, what is uh, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning.